Okay, here we go. And we're going through the original wall piece here, like our opener is. Still like these shots. We do need to get a better camera there. Um, and welcome to JD in the Subsea. Uh, we're working on the second corner build here. So we're, uh, we're rolling out the foam. Um, yeah, I forgot to do this on the, uh, first parts of the build. Um, I really am glad that everybody, uh, has subscribed to us. I'm totally amazed. Um, and thank you so much for, um, you know, bearing with me. Um, I am not a computer wizard. Um, it's really awesome. We've had so many viewers and so many subscribers. Um, I appreciate it. These wall builds are are pretty fantastic. Um, so at this point right now, we're looking at some 3D prints that a friend of mine did for me. Um, yeah, the, the biggest difference here uh, with these corner builds and corner pieces is one, there's stuff outside off the... Uh, off the walls that I have to worry about. And uh, two, I've decided to use these stick pins. Um, this changes the uh, the overall feeling of the, uh, the, the building process for me. When I did the first eight tiles, it was pretty much just grab stuff out of piles of stuff and just glue it up. Um, you know, with, uh, with uh, using the stick pins and stuff, uh, it's allowing me to, uh, you know, to set up stuff beforehand. Um, doing these videos is also part of that. Um, yeah, it's it's been quite a little journey here. Um, I'm having such a good time doing it. Although now that we're in the voiceover work, this is now the third time that I have tried to do the voiceover for this one. Um, we're gonna do a little bit less work as far as the voiceover is concerned um, than what my first two takes on. Um, I actually am trying to make Apple talk to Microsoft and uh, it's not doing very well. Um, so yeah, right now we're working, you know, towards towards some glue in here. I'll, uh, I'll go back to being quiet here. Um, yeah. It's a thing to be said that uh, I need to, uh, I'm using a lot more hot glue on this um, than I had on the other ones. Uh, rest assured, I'm going to be going over everything and gluing it with stronger glue. Um, not to mention, we're going to be adding texture to everything. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's really cool that uh, yeah, here I am, I'm hot gluing GW pieces together, um, which in a pinch works. But like I said, I'm going to be going off. I'm going to be going over everything again. Um, this is really where the stick pins come in. Um, this is really, really nice to be able to set all this stuff up beforehand and then glue it up. Um, test fitting, as they say. Um, it, uh, yeah, I don't know. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. You know, we, we add... This this whole this whole video is basically going to be me putting the, the the bones of the structure up. There'll be some detailing, but not necessarily altogether that much, like that little flange piece right there. Um, yeah, and uh, you know the funnest part about this is just picking a way up. Um, there's a part here where I'm still learning about this stuff. You know, I totally forgot I was videoing this um and didn't move the camera um but uh you know that's only gonna take a second and you'll see it um yeah i get into these build modes and painting modes and um i think that's probably the hardest part about the transition moving over from uh 
uh, video, you know, just doing this stuff and taking pictures of it, throwing it up on social media, or doing this video processing. Um, you know, it, it's going to be really cool when I get a camera in a few months here um, and a microphone that uh, hopefully will help things. Although, the way this is going, I'm guessing I'm, that's going to be a whole new set of stuff to learn. Um, yeah. So, anyways, here we go. All right. So now we're back over here. We're we've got uh, older kit, you know, already painted. That's okay. We can paint it over. Um, we've got some real old kit going on top of it all. Um, this is uh, that's a piece for my uh, 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 resin uh, dropship, ancient. Uh, a buddy dropped off in my box. Hey, I remembered the camera's still going. Um, I'm going to add, you know, a little bit of detailing here, you know, some platforms and stuff. Um, one of the things to remember that, uh, well, not remember, but one of the things I can let you know is, uh, you know, the details actually glue this stuff up better um, for reinforcements, um, when I was doing the first eight tiles, that was a surprise to me. And now that I've added this, uh, using these, these, uh, dress pins involved in this, um, which takes full advantage of using the foam core wall, um, it's going even better. Um, yeah, I can actually set this stuff up. Granted, the builds might be a little bit longer because I'm making things a little bit more, um, focused but uh this is kind of nice because i can just build this part of it and i don't have to worry about detailing every part of it while i'm going um yeah a little different dynamic way better for doing videos um, when i first started all of this uh you know I, especially when we got to the wall section which is what i was thinking everybody wanted us to see um the uh it was kind of daunting because i remember how how the uh the other one went and i think i built all eight tiles um start to finish in two days um that was uh yeah that was quite something um this way i can split days in so here we go we have a uh an mdf uh uh, canister which I've added the promethium tanks to on the bottom um, yeah here's a here's another little thing about hot glue that's nice um, it's really difficult to get drip effects looking right when they're not actually drips um, yeah so that's a little bonus so a little platform area here because it just came to me while I was doing it um, you know we're doing a little detailing on this but yeah for the most part this is just building just the scaffolding basically or lack of a better way to describe it um, speaking of scaffolding here's uh, here's some part of a MDF crane kit um, actually, this is part of the kit that my friend gave to me uh, with all those sump barges. Um, if you've been following me on social media or, um, you know, we just launched a barge kit. So, yeah, there's some uh, real tall ladder from the Sector Mechanicus stuff. We're going to do a little trimming here and then we'll get this piece up. Um, yeah, very, very very interesting this whole process that I've formulated because yeah basically I'm making this all up as I go um, and yeah I don't know a lot of fun a lot of hot glue we're gonna have to go over all of that areas and reinforce all that but we'll be doing that with details and um, you know extra things a little later on in future videos um, hopefully that don't take too much more videos, um, but, uh, yeah, maybe, I don't know, I, uh, I, I don't, this is all fun for me, so I don't, I don't put a timetable on anything, um, 
Yeah, see, like right there, that reinforces things, you know, all three of those pieces it's holding to. Um, all right, so now we got some pr new Promethium uh, tanks. Um, I joined it with a half pipe. Um, yeah, so this is really cool. Um, oh, yeah, it looks really good on the video. And we're going to glue it up crookedly. Yeah, we're trying to straighten it, but I think we're crooked again. Yep, we are. So, anyways, um, the last parts of this is going to be... Um, basically just the end of my sector mechanica stuff and a couple of door walls um we're gonna do a uh a as we go shots in the dark as well um i hope you enjoy and you guys you know have a great night thanks for joining me um and they're there's going to be a lot more. Thank you.
Yes. <laughs>